Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of The Hunt here on Borderlands. Today we are continuing our hunt and we are back in the lovely Borderlands 1. Finished up the last episode in the pre-sequel. Um, what was we doing? We was bosun farming. Ah, that's right. We had a very good uh, run at the vendor farm at the start as well, didn't we? We got a uh, legendary class mod and then we got uh, the old painful and the unique uh, that can't be uh, farmed for with a boss. So uh, yeah, we're back in Borderlands 1 today. I was going to do some um, unique farming, but we've got a good amount of the uniques at the minute and we're still lacking pearls. So uh, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, do a couple of runs of chrome racks, see if we can chance our luck with, uh, with uh, one of his drops. Uh, now there is obviously a couple of legendaries still left to get, uh, quite a few really. There's, we've got more than we haven't now, but there's still a chance of the pearl while we're farming craw and if we don't get any pearls we can just keep picking up legendaries and uh, tick a few of them off the list and then uh, we might just go and farm sliver a couple of times as well at the end if we get a good amount of legendaries and or fingers crossed a pearl so yeah that is the plan for today's episode uh, and I believe today's episode is episode 40 as well so uh, the next episode will be the, uh, the level uh, sorry the 31 to 40 highlights um, so it was quite a lot to do in that really, we've had a couple of um, armory farms and loads of legendaries dropped, stuff like that. So that should be a damn good highlights uh, reel right there. But that means a lot of editing for me, getting them all together in the same file and blah blah blah. So yeah, not, not easy. Um, I just want to pop them in the head for some reason. Just, uh, probably not a good idea actually because now more of them have come. Ah, no legendary, no. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Have to be a bit careful there. I can still hear one of them things coming about as well. Uh, all greens there. No, they're not iridium either. Medic, heal me. Heal me, medic. Right, let's go. So yeah, I'm just picking up the chests on the way. The, uh, the Obviously, the bridge chest is next. Um, and then we'll go up to crawl spend a bit of time there hopefully get something good and if not then uh, oh, we might have our very first um, episode with nothing to tick off the list uh, we'll also do the one run of um, Ajax while we're here as well I might have to do some Ajax farming at some point but we don't need to just do straight Ajax farming at the minute because while we're this way we may as well farm for the pearls and uh, the armory obviously for uh, pearl weapons as well there's just nothing on that list at all nothing on the pearl list we spent a good amount of time in this DLC now opening chests farming the armory killing craw and we've had absolutely nothing so we're, uh, we're gonna have to step up that game a little bit now I'm having the same look in the uh, the Borderlands uh, project pearl series that I do where I just farm for pearl weapons Last two episodes I did a 50 run chest challenge, um, which didn't go very well at all, and I did a 100 chest challenge, and uh, that didn't go very well at all. So yeah, um, I had to think then whether this would be up before then, and if it is, I do apologise to anyone waiting on Project Pearl, I won't go too much into it, but it, yeah, there's a 100 chests open in there. Uh, so quite a good watch really, new little format I've done for these special couple of episodes I'm going to fall off, oh, I thought I was going to fall off the cliff then get on get on come on give me some pearls right, any legendaries? no white in a crimson chest it breaks my heart Okay, right, on to Chrome Racks then. Hopefully, this guy's feeling generous today. So I haven't seen a pearl off him in a while. Excuse me. I just love killing them guys. Okay. 
let's get on them. So, up to Cormorex, and we'll spend a good amount of time up there. Obviously, if we get a pearl straight away, then hurrah. If we get two or three legendaries, then we'll move on. Don't want to fill the legendary list up too much without the pearls following. But we'll get what we can. I'm honestly not fussy. We will get what we can. Oh, damn it. I should have saved phase water. Because I'm going to need it in a minute. We might have the boring part of... Uh, picking everything up at the end as well so I do apologize about that but uh, I have skipped a couple of them before in previous episodes so uh, I like to I like to uh, pick everything up and sell it and then you don't get too much we got anything in there oh TDR equalizer we've already got yes we've got all the TDRs I keep saying that every single time and then keep forgetting every single time we don't need any more TDRs Right, Crawl, let's see what kind of mood you're feeling in today then. We'll do the uh, the little cliff glitch. Makes the killing nice and easy. We'll see if we can do it without me stuffing up this time as well. And hopefully no Crawl Maggots. And if there are Crawl Maggots, I hope they stay the hell away from me. Come on. Right, he's up. Crawl maggots coming towards me. Oh, that's always a tetchy moment. Right, and then we'll go down here. And then come out of base walk. Grab his back. And then glitch. Ah, I always try and chance that. Well, let's go for his head then. There we go. Easy arms first, and we'll go for the hard arms next. Oh no, that wasn't too hard. And then just like that, the hardest boss in the game is dead. So we're looking for iridiums, we're looking for pills, we're looking for legendaries. Um, on the initial face of things, I can't see a pearl. No. Right, anything that can be classed as a iridium weapon, you'll probably see a mile away, but. I'll go grab it anyway. Um, you can tell what a weapon is by looking at it, to be honest. No, no, no. This doesn't look a very good haul on the face of things. Oh, got a bit of a sore throat today, so I do apologise if my voice sounds different and if I keep coughing a lot. Not ill, ill, it's just. Ugh one of those horrible feeling things where you just like Bleh. so every time I do cough I will try and mute my mic um, and there goes an ambulance going past I forgot to shut my door so you can probably hear the traffic outside as well not on not only today right let's pick all this shite up really was hoping for an iridium weapon of some sorts because we do need a lot of them left but we've got four legendaries and that's it so Maliwan Firehawk we have got Tog Bastard we have got Vladov Revolution oh Vladov Revolution we have not got that yes we have the hammer the Rebel and the Sirkov, and we need the Mongol Revolution and Vengeance. So there you go, one off the list already. Guns of the Revolution will never fall silent. I love the sound of that. Glorious Revolution, there we go. Uh, Doll Bulldog, we've got. And that's it. Okay, well, that's not a bad run. Um, let's go for a phase walk out of here. I have a little method with this to. Uh, to make things quicker I just come down here sell a few things until my phase walk comes back and then do the rest while the elevators coming down yeah we've collected quite a lot actually there we go phase walk should be back in a second I kind of under time that a little bit but hey 
Well, that's one off the list already. Happy about that. So, just a, yeah, like I said, just the Mongol and the Vengeance now, and then we've uh, completed Vladov. Boom, in we go again then. The Atlas Troll. I've never, I can't remember ever seeing the Atlas Troll. Ogre, Hydra, Cyclops, loads of Atlas left. They are quite, quite rare actually, the Atlas guns. What Atlas have we got? We've got the Chimera. That's it. Right. And the reason I do this is just to keep a nice clear inventory and just keep the money topped up as well. Because if you start picking up too many things, you can't pick anything else up. Right, I'm not going to do all the class mods, we'll do that next time. Because we had quite a lot in there from the armory anyway, it's normally quicker than that if you keep on top of it. Right, let's head on up then for another run. God, this list is tiny now of stuff for Borderlands 1 legendaries. There's so many ticks, it's unreal. But like I've just shown that with that um, with that Vladov revolution, if you can just tick one off every single time, even if you find 30 legendaries in this episode, if you can just tick one off, then you, you're one closer to what you was. So it really isn't bad. Right, let's head down here. Let's get that annoying blob on his back. No, I'm not going to go for it this time. There we go. Let's see if we can get the dream. Oh, come on. Oh, it's always his blooming head I miss. Oh, come on. There we go. After all that time saving at the beginning, I mean, absolutely flew out it's the artifact. Right, there's a lot of bright colours right here, but not the colour I want. Right, let's go for all these then. Uh, that's the artifact. Which was way to make this text on screen smaller, it really blocks your view of what's coming up. Um, I didn't even see what that was but I'll leave it to the end. Purples can sod off. Good amount of legendaries this time though, I can see six in my view right now. There's an alien gun. What is that, Iridian gun? That is just the cannon which I will check but I'm absolutely sure we've got the cannon, it's so common, yes we have. We want a mega cannon, come on game. At least it's dropping, at least it's dropping them. Um, can't complain at that. As long as we keep seeing him a little bit, I'm not bothered at all. Oh, another one here. That is another cannon. Again, not going to complain. That's two Iridian weapons. Alien weapons, whatever you want to call them. So, as long as we keep seeing them, I'm happy. Even if they are duplicates of ones that we've found a thousand times. That's a nice big launcher. Right, what we got then? Pretty sure most of these are duplicates, but you never know. Uh, SNS Crooks, I think we've got that. Yes, we have Explosive Crooks. We've got both Crookses actually. Uh, Hyperion Invader. Ah, there's the Sniper and the Pistol, and we haven't got either. Hyperion Invader, yeah, there you go. That will do me. That's another one off the uh, off the list. Now I remember last time saying, yeah, we've got the Torque Bastard. Oh, now that is another revolution, which we've already got. Isn't that funny? We didn't find any in these last couple of uh, these God knows how many runs, and we get two in the same. This is the thing with there's the uh, up Crooks again, and the Vladov Sirkov. I think we've got as well. Yes, but. <laughs> There you go, two things off. So we've got the Hyperion Invader Sniper, but we need the pistol now. And we've also got the uh, Vladov Revolution in this episode. So that's two. That's two off the list. Quite happy at that. Right, let's just sell a few things. Let's get down to weapons. 
run out of weapons, we'll just go for another five seconds. Fine, we can do the rest when the elevator's here. So while we're waiting for the elevator. About 15 minutes down, I think we're going to go for two more. Two more crawl runs. And then we'll head for... What's his mid face? Um, can't remember his name. Ajax. We'll have the Ajax. Did one run of him. And then uh, if we've got time, we'll do a, a run or two of Sliver. Right. Which means we're only doing a few runs of crawl, actually. I think I'm going to uh, not pick up all the gear next time. Or should we, yeah, should we do two blind uh, a blind runner crawl and then a normal runner crawl? I think. Let's keep all that down though. Yes. Get all these out of the way. You collect so much stuff doing this. You'll never need money again. Okay. Yeah. The elevator's here. That'll do. I say a blind runner crawl. We'll go check the loot quickly. Um, well, we'll see, we'll see. You never know, we might not be able to kill him this time. I get knocked off the cliff or something stupid like that. It's happened many times before. Right, something close, I can hear it. Oh god. Here we go. Stupid maggot, at least it didn't launch at me this time. It's so damn quick though. Right. It don't matter though. We're in. Two arms. Two arms. Oh, and I missed his head again. Damn it. There we go. Right, we'll go have a quick look. Go have a very quick look. What we got? White. Yeah, that looked like a really bad run then, actually. A really, really bad run. Let's just check the legendaries then. Uh, Jacob Skullmasher, I have got. Yes. Um, Hellfire. Oh, if I haven't got a Hellfire by now, I'm doing something wrong. Really badly wrong. Um, plus of lad off any alien weapons any iridium weapons doesn't look like it oh there's one here uh, the storm again I think we've got that one thunderstorm yes we've got it and we've got the lightning obviously fair enough uh, we'll pick that up anyway to save confusion next time Don't, that's, that's the one one I never ever have to check yeah you won't feeling very generous on that one crop the big git so uh, yeah we'll go for one more run why not so hoping maybe one more thing to tick off fingers crossed one more thing to tick off and hey if it's going to be anything please let it be the Ajax's ogre <laughs> if Crow don't want to drop out but he knows that um, he knows that Ajax is going to drop his ogre then that is fine by me I will be heading that way in a minute or even Sliver with the Dove Hornet Sliver's not too bad actually because you can farm him over and over again quickly even if it does take a long time but yeah I'm, I'd go out on a limb here and say I'd rather have one of the hybrid legendaries dropped before a pearl that would be absolutely epic right down it comes we'll sell a bit more stuff while waiting for the elevator Get rid of all these grenade mods. See, it's a lot quicker when you keep on top of it. So, 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 so. Boom, we're empty. Into the elevator then. Right, last time, Crow. I know we haven't done a lot of farming of you today, but uh, you've, you've been good to us so far. Be extra good to us and we'll leave you alone, okay? Give me something I haven't got. 
Still got the striker actually, that's an interesting one. Or the Orion, the SNS Orion, I used to see all the time. I've not seen it in this Hyperion Reaper, that sounds nice. Right, concentrating. <laughs> it's just sat there looking at me over the screen. No maggots this time. Yeah, I took my time on that one. Here we go then. I'm better getting that arm every time. Usually the one I miss. And again, I don't normally miss the head as much as I have been doing. See? Again. There we go. Come on. Show me something I want to see. That doesn't look good. A lot of legendaries. Oh, it's white. Right, let's go and check them. A lot of legendaries. Well, I say a lot. I saw about four. Oh, Steve, if you don't pick up all this loot, it soon gets on top of you. Cannon, thank you. We have not got many of them today. Uh, Dal Raven, that sounds quite new, but I might already have it. Dal Raven, I have got. Okay, don't get many of them though, I don't think. Uh, TDR equalizer, I don't need TDRs. Um, not looking at much more around here. Can't see a lot. Hmm. What's that? That was a little TDO gun. Um, Talk Bastard. We've got three of them today. Holy hell. Talk are really uh, pushing their products on us, aren't they? I reckon Crow gets commission for selling them by dropping them. Uh, Vladoff Rebel, I think we've already got. Yes, we have. What have we got here? The Dal Hornet, again. Yes, we've already got. Just don't want to miss anything. Another volcano. And that is it. Crow is not playing ball today. Right. Okay, we'll leave that for today then. Two things off the list, so that's fine. And then we'll... Uh, Go up one run of Ajax, and then we'll head to uh, head to the Hornet. Boom! Right. Um, no, nope, not bothered about that. Let's just run for it and switch weapons now. Sniper, you have done me good for the day, but we don't need you anymore. Oh, really cannot be bothered to go and kill all of them stupid bloody things that Scythids, I think they're called, aren't they? So to do like the uh, the bursting Scythids when they pop, I think they're awesome. Wow, boosted down that ramp without crashing, that is not like me. Not in fact, I normally go over the ramp and uh, die. <laughs> Right, let's go over here. I'm not getting that cliff chest in the next area because it takes so damn long and I want to do a few farms of sliver. It's like four minutes round route just for one chest. It's really not worth it. Which does bug the hell out of me because I know that might be the chest that gives us our first pearl, but screw it. <laughs> he didn't even get a chance to spawn in before I killed him. And again, we could kill uh, a couple of these things down here, or them things, drifters. They have a small chance to uh, have a pearl in. But they take too long and I can't be bothered with that either. We'll shoot one in the face there just because they annoy me. And we can kill some of the lances as well that spawn with Ajax because they uh, they have a small chance at a pearl. Unfortunately the devastators don't and they're the most annoying out of them all. Right, here we go then. Let's get close enough to him. Spawn. 
and here comes the drifter already, uh, the devastator already. But all focus is on Ajax. No, it's not. It's on these guys because they're annoying me. Right, this pyro is going to get me up. There's Ajax come down. Good lad. I'm not going to kill you while you're miles up in the air. Right, there's the hornet. Uh, the hornet. There's the spear. Will you go away, man? Absolutely waste of bloody space. Turn so I can crit you. Thank you. There will be a badass coming out as well. He's behind me. Ow. Right. Did we get anything? Don't think we did. That's money. Grenade mod. Oh, thanks for the spear that you drop every single time. No, nope, nothing decent. Right, let's go then. I think I might need to change characters here. No, wrong character. That's my back to Borderlands character. I just saw Roland. Quit. I'm not going in with a level 30. Right, let's try this again. It's that character. Hopefully I'm still in the middle of nowhere. No, I'm back at here. Um, right, where's middle of nowhere? There. That's where I want to be. I think. Yes, it is. Come on, load times. Well, I think three runs. We're just shy of the uh, the 30 minute mark now. Don't want to take this episode on too long, so we'll do three runs of this guy. He's pretty quick to kill anyway. I might use the, uh, the corrosive shredder and then uh, nothing will last very long. <laughs> it's one powerful as hell rifle. And it does little wiggles when you fire it as well. That's where I was sold on it. Doesn't matter how powerful it is, it just looks cool when you shoot it. Where is it? There we go. Look, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Right. Anyway, enough wiggling. Where are you? There he is. And I've lost him again. Slither, there you are. Die then. You can sod off. Oh, a bit of lag there. There's the dove, which we don't need. I want the dove on it. Nope, don't think it's here. I think it took way too long checking that anyway, but... Nice and quick. If we're quick, we can probably squeeze five runs in. And go a little bit over. I always do in every single episode. I don't think I've had a single episode yet. There's been 30 minutes or less. It's only going to get worse when we're... Uh, Farming for the cobra and this and the spear. Sorry, the ogre. Right. Run number two then. Fingers crossed. God, can you imagine if it does just get down to Borderlands 2 needing to find the cobra and Borderlands 1 having to find the um, Ajax's ogre? Jesus, that is going to be one boring ass series. Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 1000 of The Hunt. We have not got anything in about 900 runs now, but 
This might be the day where we finally get the cobra to drop. Like, you go away. Where is it? He's there. You're a little git. Stop running him off. I can't even see the bloody thing. Where is he? He didn't die. Did he? Oh, he's there. He did die. He didn't drop anything. Apart from a white pistol, by the looks of it. Oh, and a grenade mod. Right. Screw it. Let's go for a couple more runs. I reckon we can get five runs in 35 minutes. <laughs> another another episode with no pearls. Might have to go pearl farming in Borderlands too, make myself feel better. Again though, that's not bloody easy. Stupid loot midgets never drop them anymore. Well, not for me anyway. I know they still do drop them, but I used to get loads of pearls from loot midgets. I haven't had a single one in years now. Right. Whoa. Where am I going? I knew I'd not gone far enough. I was in autopilot then. I was going to say, we've never had that spider ants jump out on us before. Right, will this distract the spider ants, I wonder? The annoying ones that come for me. And then I can just farm slither. Oh, what have I got this thing for? Where is he? There. Ah. Still not dead. Right, nothing definitely came out in that time. That was a good, easy kill, but let's pick everything up. Just that white and the green. Two runs left then. And then next episode, I think we will go and get a unique or two. Yeah, maybe one unique. Maybe one armory farm. And where am I going? And then a couple more runs of this guy. If we keep on at this guy and he drops it, then I won't feel under as much pressure to get the ogre so quickly. We can just focus on army runs, pearl farming, and IX ogre farming. So we need this. Strip the flesh, salt the wound. I was saying in uh, one of the previous episodes as well, um, soon we are going to be burnt out in Borderlands 1 apart from Pearls and Borderlands pre-sequel will be soon be out on as well so we might have to, uh, we'll might have to focus on some more Borderlands 2 because that is a, just a stupid if you combine all the things you find in this game and Borderlands pre-sequel you probably still haven't got as big a list as uh, Borderlands 2 there's just loads of weapons and items to find in there. So uh, we might have to do a lot of Borderlands too as well. Oh, didn't want that. Right, one more run. One more run and then that is it today. Happy that I've got my two legendaries though. Not happy. I still haven't got my pearl. It'll come though. It'll come. Plus, hey, I love raiding the armory, so who cares how many times I have to do it? Crawl would be a lot better if there was a, uh, a dump gear option, if you get what I mean. Like anything that he drops, if you exit the area, it will uh, all disappear. Because I think you can have. I think I've tested this before, or not tested it, but. I farmed him, I think it was seven times without picking up his loot and then the game had crashed for some reason. So yeah, seven runs, game crashes, so uh, you have to pick it all up. Well obviously you can't pick seven runs worth of stuff up 
in one go your inventory just is not big enough for it so that's why I tend to pick all the gear up first before anything else but yeah it'd be better if, as soon as you leave his area if you don't get the stuff it's gone forever I don't even know where Slither is I'm just shooting at him more greens well that's it anyway guys I'm going to leave it there that is another episode of the hunt two things off the list like I've said fine by me see you guys in the next episode more Baldwin's one in the next episode we've got about three episodes in total here and uh, like we always do we'll rotate and then head to Baldwin's too so more Baldwin's one next episode thank you guys for watching see you in the next one